New information on an important news alert we first reported live at 5. State health officials are investigating 10 deaths tonight and say all of them could be to blame on a new synthetic drug. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom with the latest details. Health officials tell me of the 10 people who died, most of them lived in the northern part of Rhode Island. They were both male and female and a wide range of ages. The Rhode Island Department of Health and the Centers for Disease Control are investigating the deaths of 10 people. Initially, health officials thought all 10 died of heroin overdoses, but now it's believed they actually died after overdosing on a new synthetic opiate. So far, health officials don't know exactly what it is. We know enough about it to know that it looks to be uh, exceptionally dangerous. Now, you know, that's not to say that all intravenous drugs used illegally all of them are exceptionally dangerous. This one appears to be unusually dangerous. Dr. Michael Fine, the director of the Department of Health, tells Eyewitness News the deaths caused by the unidentified synthetic drug happened in March and April. The good news is that the most recent death was April 11th. So it appears that it was a drug on the street um, that doesn't, that looks like it's now gone from the street. Every year in Rhode Island, about 300 people die of prescription and non-prescription drug overdoses. Health officials say there are treatment options available. Four Walgreens pharmacies in Warwick are approved to dispense a drug called Narcan, which is used to reverse the effects of an overdose. Dr. Fine tells me the Department of Health hopes to have a better idea of what the synthetic drug actually is sometime next week. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.